Good morning, everybody. It's a beautiful morning. It's going to be a million damn degrees again. Uh, really humid today. I'm out here weeding, listening to some YouTube, drinking some coffee this morning. Um, let's see what's blooming. We got these from uh, a co-worker of um, Consuelo's. It's another kind of mint, a lemon mint. I'm learning my lesson in keeping the mints. That's the spearmint in uh, pots when I get them now because that's the spearmint. <laughs> it goes everywhere. Oh, the uh, little cone flowers, the little dwarfs are coming in. So cute. Pretty. I put those for Consuelo last year. Um, so yesterday, I spent some time in the girls' run. Oh, I have to show you where I got them. Cleaning out. Look at this. Somebody had this on the curb. We brought it home and cleaned it up. Isn't it hilarious? So, they, they, it's, we're having some sort of playground situation come up over here. I don't know what's happening. Uh, but, uh, the girls are around. They're laying low. They were, they were hot last night. Um, I think it didn't cool down all night. And I've got a couple fans on them and all the windows are open, but... I think they're chilling out in the bamboo down here. Where's my babies? There's one. There's one baby. Oh, there's two. Spot the chickens. Can you see them? Hey, girls. I brought them some cat food, wet cat food, in like ice water yesterday. That went over pretty well. I think it cooled them down a little bit. Oops, sorry. We got raspberry. I cleaned up the raspberry bed yesterday. Looks like we might get some raspberries this year. The mulberries are in full effect. We gotta get out here and pick some if I'm gonna make any syrup. So that's what's going on in girl world. Uh, and uh, Berenice is limping again. Her bumble's back. You're getting a spa day today, ma'am. <sighs> gotta keep her in isolation, keep it wrapped up. She takes the bandage off in like two seconds after I get it on her. Huh, babe. Good morning. How you doing, Annabelle? How you doing, babe? Take it easy, girls. It's hot. Woo! Woo! It's hot. Dang. <gasps> Looks like we have one more honeysuckle or going at least a little bit. What's it smell like? Oh my gosh, that smells so good. We're going to put in some more cattle panel arches here. We're going to do them um, like two foot sections maybe, a couple of them, to grow this honeysuckle up and over so it'll help shade the pavilion a little bit. Um, what else is happening? Look at the sun. Oh, it's starting to get hot. I thought I'd get a little bit of time in weeding before that. <laughs> the Leatris are coming in. Woo! And we're getting tomatoes. The Brandywine, the problem child, is doing well. The one, I saw one of the commenters, their Brandywine died. I'm sorry about that. I. I get it. They almost keeled over on me at the beginning. The one at the community garden is way bigger than this, but the first tomato is all like something has infiltrated it. Oh, it looks like we might have uh, eggplants at some point. And the uh, lemons are coming in. I think I need to work on my drip irrigation a little bit. It's not quite perfected in the places I have it done. It's like I need more in some places and less in others. Whoa! Holy cow! Look at this tomato! You see all those flowers? Every one of those flowers is a tomato. Oh lord, I need to tie that up. That's the, of course, that's the hybrid. It's not an heirloom, right? Look, the heirlooms over there are like way shorter. So, I guess you pay for in production 
what you make up for in um, coming back every year on the heirlooms. Look at that. Crazy. We're about to be buried in yellow tomatoes. I better figure something out. We, uh, the, the community garden, I should show you guys the community garden. It's doing so much better than anything here. The uh, pumpkin, another one of our pumpkin starts is in a different bed that somebody else planted and they named it Audrey because it's just like this crazy thing going all over the place. And our, our uh, pumpkin over there is doing the same thing. It's uh, huge. This is the um, loofah. The ones in the pot are doing okay. Very slow. All right, I gotta talk about some things I wasn't sure I wanted to talk about. It's a bit traumatic. This dirt that I ordered this year from the people I always order from, I always get a mix of topsoil and um, compost, and if I'm feeling environmentally squanderous, I get a little bit of peat in it. And this year, the topsoil portion, portion seemed to have an inordinate amount of sand in it, shall we say. And I, against my better judgment, I went ahead and used it. And you can see, look at this. See how hard this is? It's like cement. It's, uh, it's really not working out. It, that this, These are basils. They're tiny. The ones over at the uh, community garden are like, I don't know, four times that size. And they're kind of shaded by the tomatoes. So it's... um. I'm not trying to blame the dirt for all this disaster here, but I'm just saying it's kind of weird how stuff at the community garden is doing so much better. And granted, there's way more sun over there. We do have some afternoon shade in some of the places here, but um, but yeah, I I need to repot some stuff and because this is a different potting soil. This is like regular potting soil. I don't know how much of that. Uh, other dirt is in it and it's doing much better you know so I think that's part of it I think also this is also to remind myself for next year I want to start and I'm sure I've said this before I want to start with bigger starts I think I rushed getting everybody outside this year and um, didn't it, it got cold and I should have oh look there's a bee in the in the watermelon I should have hardened them off uh, better and made them bigger before I even attempted it. I think that was a mistake. We got a little watermelon starting here. A little sugar baby. Um, so that I definitely want to do better. We know about the the um, row covers for the cabbages. Now, I haven't seen the worms and this thing seems to be starting to form a cabbage, so I might leave them because I think the the worms have gone. I did put some seven before it rained. So yeah, I, I know I was gonna tear those out, but maybe I'll just plant some more cabbages somewhere else. So that's definitely something I wanna do different. I need to improve my soil, and I think I'm gonna plant a bunch of uh, borage. It's a, it's a, I think it only comes back annually. It's a, like a weed looking thing, but it's got a really long tap root that goes down into the soil and helps break up uh, bad soil. And it gets these adorable little blue flowers on it. I planted some at the community garden bed and I'm really glad I did because I've noticed problems with drainage in some of the beds and I think the borage are gonna help pop through and improve uh, the drainage because we covered everything with cardboard before we put the beds in and I think that might be keeping some people's beds from draining properly until that cardboard has totally broken down. So those are some things I want to fix for next year because yeah because I think out here I, I did top off with that new soil and I'm just not seeing the look how little these basils are like compared to the ones at the community garden they're so tiny let me start pinching them though. whoa look at the uh this is the uh cilantro i just let it go to uh see it's covered in little tiny bees you see them oh my gosh wow there's like a little cloud of them over it <laughs> cool um Liatris catching the sun. 
It's so cute when this first starts coming out. Connie loves these. Pretty. With the astilbe in the back. Yeah, the astilbe's not getting burnt out this year. I'm actually shocked by that. Oops. Sorry. My camera work is perfect as usual. <laughs> this is starting to fade, though. So, yeah, um, those are things I definitely want to do differently. I think I have raspberries growing in there. I probably should move those. <laughs> well, Consuela wanted me to put some over by the fence, so I think I'll do that with those. Um, oh, look, 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 look. This is... Uh, which one is that? That's not yarrow. What? What is that? I put it there, but I can't remember which it was. Is that the verbena? Maybe that's the verbena. It's about to go, it looks like. Very cool. Oh, I'm getting a battery running out message. I better go. Um, anyway, I hope everybody has a great day. Um, you all are doing excellent work out there in the world. Bye.